Happy Friday, everybody. Good to see you all back. Hopefully everybody's getting all ready for the uh, crazy heat wave that's coming up. Good morning to see you, Mark. Chuck, everyone, good to see you. All right, good to see everyone. Well, looks like uh, we're f we just almost finished half the month already, and it's going to be a hot one, so um, <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to go anywhere any anytime soon. So I guess we'll just sit back and have some fun doing some trading. So before we go out there and go through the watch list, um, first of all, yeah, I, I saw a bunch of you just talking about Skechers. Uh, we saw that one earlier this morning. The bad thing about Skechers is that there's not a lot of orders out there. Um, I'm looking on my level four and level three, and even if over here, over here you see on a level three, there's really not that much out there. So you got to be a little careful on the Skechers, and you can notice there's a big spread. But um, but let's talk before we uh, talk about some of the other ones because like Weight Watchers and everything else. Let's talk about what's going on. Uh, as of what happened yesterday, there were a couple of good stocks that did make some big moves. Um, first of all, let's start with the AMRN trade. Now, let me just fix this time zone so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Four minute. Um, so the AMRN um, had a great day stock, uh, long then short. We had a nice little pop right out of the gate where it went from 19 to 20. And then it was just a nice short going the way down. It's still taking a little bit of a hit right here, but once it broke that support for some of you, listen, I always say you can't go broke taking profits. And, you know, that's one of the big issues people have. They always want to go out there and think I can make more and more and more. Listen, the goal is you make your day's pay and the game is over. That's what it is. But I know some of you guys did really good on that and you called the quits. Pays. Let me bring up, uh, oops, spelled it wrong. P-A-Y-S. No. Uh, so... Pay sign did really, really well. Really strong stock. You could see it. Stock was a six dollar stock in in in, uh, in June, and sure enough, this thing has just been up to nineteen. What a great, like almost a triple. What a nice, nice move. Stock has honestly has become a little bit more of a swing trade. So I want you to keep an eye on pays. P a um, p a y s. Very inexpensive stock. Nice movement. Hasn't really broke down a lot. And uh, if we go back here and make this a little bit more of a longer term chart, guys, this stock is just breaking all time highs. I mean, we're going down 2016 and you can see a stock was like literally just doing unbelievable pay signs. I mean, I guess they're rock and rolling. Nice little stock right there. Listen, how do you know how to swing trade? You got to know how to day trade first. So put that one on your watch list on a swing trade. You know, if you haven't done it already, I mean, once it was hovering right around the $12 range, things have been really, really pretty, uh, been pretty good. DTST is another one right there. The stock got a little decimated from 10 all the way down to about three. Had a nice little pop right there, right in the middle of the day. That one uh, did pretty well. And then, you know what? The OTLK, that was the best one, I think, personally. That one just literally right out of the gate, just popped up from 210 to 280. And you see a stock took a little, uh, look a little big hit. So over and and I don't and obviously a lot of the ETFs did pretty damn well too. I mean Nugget and all of them. I mean these things just been on fire. I mean ETFs have just been great. But I, like I told you yesterday when we talked about those ETFs, you just had to be a little careful. This is not a beginner stock. You had to be very very careful with these stocks because they are pretty volatile when it comes to it. All right, now what's going on this morning and see what's going on. Remember, it's Friday, guys, so as much as a lot of people want to take off and enjoy the weekend and stuff like that, uh, you're not going to get a lot of action on a Friday other than maybe Friday afternoons or something comes out of the gate. But um, shockingly, there are a couple of stocks here that are moving. Just remember, like, like I was talking about in class, uh, June, July, and August are the best months to learn how to trade. September, October, November is the worst times to trade because you should be ready to trading by then. You don't want to learn at the best times of the market. You want to learn on the slow times. So uh, great time that you guys are in class and hopefully you've been enjoying it. Uh, but what's moving this morning, keep an eye on Weight Watchers. We've seen this stock. I, you know what? I've never seen a stock with a roller coaster as much as this. Look when I change the time frame. You guys remember this stock. Uh, Oprah bought it out. Actually, I have to go back even further than that. I got to go monthly. This thing just went from like 20 to 80, down, back down to 20, back up to 100, back down to 20. I mean, this thing has just been a really fun swing trade when you really look at it. So I don't know. Maybe this is the bottom right here. You know, hit 20. Maybe it's coming back on a swing trade. Um, you know, 27. Still got some room there. But she's a pretty scary looking day trading stock. Be careful. This stock, 
Sometimes it becomes a good day trade, but it usually becomes more of a, of, of a swing trade. Just don't trade too many shares of it. One stock that also got destroyed just uh, over and over and over again. Looks like she's up a little bit this morning, MTP. I'm watching over here. Got a couple of really nice orders over here. You look over here on the right-hand side. I mean, you got some great, great block orders. Look at 11,000 share seller at 289. Uh, you can see that's why Poppy's having a tough time breaking that right there. See that guy get taken out? I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, I did an event yesterday, and uh, you know, obviously, we know we we do the uh, uh, trading with Fausto on Thursdays, and you know, one of the big things I was just telling everybody regarding about when you're looking at stocks like this, you know, first of all, don't don't underestimate inexpensive stocks. It's less risk, more reward. And also, you know, when you see these big orders out there, because one people always, you know, you always hear it all the time. People say, how do you know they're fake orders, fake orders? Fake. Listen, you know, how do you know? It? First of all, there's no such thing of a fake order, number one. And number two, how do you know those orders get canceled? You got to work on that time in sales. Look at the time in sales over here in the bottom right. Look at that, look, you know, look at that thing like move a little bit. And I would, like I always say, you know, and, we, and we're covering it this week in class, you got to have your defaults right. Otherwise, because people always say, oh, it moves so fast. Of course, it's moving fast. You got your defaults wrong. So I uh, just want to put that little tip of the day. But overall, MTP, you know, up about 113% so far. Looks pretty good. If you want to know why, just look at the long-term chart and you can figure that one out. BRWD, another one that I found this morning. Um, this stock had a really, really nice push. Looks like it was one of the IPOs that came out. Very nasty stock, though, guys. $86 $80 stock. Listen, if you're not a level four trader, do not trade this stock. ALT, another one that's moving this morning. This stock literally um, just had a really, really up, 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 uh, up move right there, up 9%. Great, great volume on the level three right there. You could see it. Don't understand why my long-term chart is showing all that negative 400 and positive 400 at $2. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. But other than that, it's got great movement, great volume, very inexpensive. Looks like uh, for all you level one traders, this stock will be up your alley. YGYI, another one right here. That's moving pretty nicely, up 12%. Everyone remembers this stock. We traded it back in December. It ran from $4 to $16. as one of those four or 500% movers that we traded. So go back to your journals, check it out, and see how you did with it. Because remember, history is a very funny way of repeating itself. So always keep an eye. You know, if you took the good notes like you were supposed to, you'll know if you how it trades. Because I always tell you, you're going to be trading these stocks again. And why? Why GYI is one of them. Now, one of the ones that have been really popular this morning, a lot of you guys have been trading is Skechers. Uh, Skechers had good news yesterday, and you could see, you know, had a nice little pop. Stock kind of build nice little Fausto flags after hours. And you can see it's pushing pretty nicely. It is in the level three category. I don't like the volume. Like I said, when you look over here on, on the uh, level three, a lot of hundred shares, not getting block orders out there. And that kind of really kind of defeats our advantage when it comes to trading. So keep that in mind. EIR is another one. Put that on a watch list. Took a big hit. Looks like it's up 10%, 41%. This one at least has some good volume. 5,000 share buyer at 415 already, already advertised. You got 2,000, 3,000 sellers at, at 440 and 450. So, I don't know. You know, like I said, you guys just throw, you just got to get a couple of them out there and see what's going on. Um, and what else do I have? It was a pay, oh, pays, that's right. So the pays will keep a close eye on that thing too. I kind of like that on a swing trade. All right, guys, anything I'm missing I did not call out? I think we pretty much nailed them all. Nailed them all. Pretty good, decent list for a Friday, shockingly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that really pretty much does it. Um, like I said, we always get new ones that do pop up when the market opens up. Some people hold orders until then, but as what we see what's in pre-market so far, we, we got a pretty decent movement. I know some of you guys did pretty well in pre-market already, so uh, it's always nice to start to start positive before the market opens up. All right, guys, so remember, you got classes that are going on, and um, it, is, it is the weekend. It is going to be scorching hot, so please, guys, take care of yourself and the air conditioning. Don't go out there and try to tough it out. Um, I don't know. I look at 100-degree weather like being out at 10, 10 below uh, in, in the wintertime. Don't, you know, just be very, very careful out there. All right, guys? And then uh, just sit back and let's see if we get – you know, hey, you never know. Maybe we can make some money on it. <laughs> Heat waves always – obviously, there must be something, a stock out there we could probably trade that could make this thing move, right?
Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. I'll see you this afternoon uh, for the afternoon meeting and see what trade is closed. In the meantime, if you're not going to be in class, you know, uh, see something, say something in the trading room. All right, guys? Good luck today. Happy trading. Let's make some money.